Good morning. Um, today we are going to an auction in Andreas, Andreas, Pennsylvania. It's about an hour away. I've never been to this auction before, but it looks like it should have some really good ephemera. Online, the pictures show, it says they have over 10 flats of vintage household appliance and plumbing ephemera, which I'm super interested in. They also have three big binder catalogs of vintage plumbing. I looked online already. One of the catalogs sold on eBay for around $100, so I'll just have to see what price it goes for. But besides that, it looks like they have an array of some amazing things, like vintage Harley Davidson shirts, some other vintage clothing, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, I don't know how, what prices will be like. I don't know what the competition will be like since I've never been there. I'm already behind the ball a little bit. The auction starts at nine and I totally forgot to call the auction company to find out what time they open for preview. So by the time I get there, it's only 7.30 now. It takes me an hour to get there, 8.30. So I might only have maybe 20 minutes to preview before the auction starts. But what I'll do is I will find out what is going up first, where they start at, and then if it's not near the flats of ephemera, then I can take my time and look at some of the other things. So first I have to go to Wawa, get some cash and some tea, and then we will be on our way. There are a lot of people here. I have not found the boxes of ephemera yet. I have found a few boxes of ephemera. The problem is that they are in old wooden crates with some nice advertising. So people might be buying them for the crate and not necessarily the ephemera. Um, but as you can see, the place is packed. <laughs>
This one is. Here you see, you got his real nice elk right here. You can mount it right to the wall there, you see. You got good horns and all. Bring him there. Bring him there. going on it's almost three o'clock I've been here since a little around 8 30 I did not get the paper ephemera the prices were just too high the one crate went for $75 and that didn't even have the best paper in it the other crate that had the book that was worth about a hundred dollars on eBay that went for 120 I could have bought it but the guy that bid on that crate he was the same one that bid on the other crate so most likely he just would have kept bidding and it wouldn't have been profitable for me. But I did get some neat items, items that I did not come here to buy, but I bought anyway, so I can show you. So I got these three wooden crates for seven bucks. Um, they do have some advertising on them from California. So those should go at the flea market. Um, they'll be easy sells. This crate I bought, I might just keep it for myself. It was $10. It's an asparagus crate. I like the look of it. I could put things in it. I can even use it at the flea market to put my other ephemera and my books in it. This was a neat buy. I got this poster. The sun's kind of bad. And then that slate keystone railroad writing something i don't know what it is but this poster essentially was a dollar and it's bostwick metal lathe and accessories so it shows all the different kinds of metal um, metal lathe concrete and corner beads metal casings and accessories that this company has and it's a bostwick steel lathe company in niles ohio this was a dollar and i didn't look it up before i just thought for a dollar I can't go wrong. Um, when I looked on eBay after the Boswick, there were a few Boswick catalogs and they were asking for over $100 a piece on those. So we'll see what this brings, but for a buck, you can't go wrong. Now the two unexpected pieces that I bought, I got, yes, a new friend to bring home. This, it's kind of, you can't really see it. Ooh it's you know the bottom of a mannequin it's plastic it was two bucks I can take that to the flea market and sell it it has a mark on it that'll come off with one of those arm and hammer erasers and I got this guy for two dollars um sorry he's a little oh geez as I break him hold on we gotta do this better come here Rudolph so he might be a little rough but again two dollars I might keep him 
and put him up in my house or I know at Sailorsburg taxidermy does pretty well there so one thing that I forgot to show you guys um, I have this box it has some nice uh, legs in it from some bird whether it's turkey buzzard vulture I'm not sure I'd have to look it up but it was this box that had the legs in it and then it had some hunting patches and then also some other um, Pennsylvania wildlife hunting brochures. This was in a lot with some antlers, so I was bidding on it. It got too high, so I stopped bidding. After the sale, a woman came up and she asked me what I was bidding on when I was bidding on the antler lot, and I said that, oh, I wanted the, the legs. And she said, oh, good, because we just wanted the antlers. So she asked if I would want to pay 10 bucks. I think the lot went for 30. So I said, sure. I figured I could get my money back on the patches and then definitely on these. They're pretty neat. Some of them will like them. So to recap, I got three crates for $7. My new friend, uh, Rudolph the deer, for $2. The mannequin bottoms for two bucks. I got an asparagus crate for $10. And then the poster and the slate piece for two bucks a piece. No, $2 each, sorry. And then the box of the bird legs for $10. So I did pretty well, I think. I think that the poster is going to be a winner. I think that that might be enough to pay for everything that I purchased today. I came here wanting to buy paper and I bought no paper at all, but that sometimes happens. You just never know who's going to be at the auction, You know, who's gonna buy what, what the interest is, it was mostly older men that purchased the paper, again, because it was plumbing, um, ephemera, plumbing catalogs, other household appliance supplies, and some old car manuals. So they're into that kind of thing. I could have bought them, but for me, it just wasn't worth it. So I passed. But I got some other neat things instead. It was a good day. Um, a nice drive out here. The auction's still going on. They'll probably be here for maybe another hour. And I would definitely come out to this auction again. So I hope you all enjoyed my finds of the day. And um, I will see you next time.